Let's move next to a guy that will be jockeying with Bryce Young to be the number one overall pick, and that would be C.J. Stroud at Ohio State. We all know what C.J. Stroud did in his time, and he might, you can make a strong case that he saved his best performance of his college career for his final performance against the Georgia Bulldogs. Here's what I'll say about Ohio State's quarterback situation. Dating all the way back over the last, gosh, handful of seasons, whether it be Dwayne Haskins, Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud, uh, you know, even in into the Terrell prior years, even before that with Troy Smith, you look at the offense that's been used since Urban Meyer took over back in 2000, early 2010s. And the offense that they've used has always been extremely quarterback friendly. Of course, Ryan Day runs a slightly different offense. It's not quite the same as, as what was run under Urban Meyer. But tell me this, Urban Meyer, Ryan Day, tell me a time in which you've been legitimately concerned about the quarterback play for Ohio State. Tell me a time, because I, I can't think of one. Now, for what JT Barrett was, for example, JT Barrett was maybe not the, the best pro prospect, but he was an excellent and efficient winner at the college level. And a guy that understood his role within the offense, and he understood what he needed to do within the offense to be successful. Now, Cardell Jones, a little more horsepower as far as throwing the football, but equally good when it came to winning games. And I think when you look at the way that this offense makes it easy on the quarterback and the supporting cast that he's going to have at wide receiver, it's going to be ridiculous. This is just not a position with this offense. This is not a position that I've ever been concerned about. Think about this. Ohio State starting quarterback has finished in the top 10 in Heisman voting in five consecutive years and eight of the last 11 seasons. Okay, it's pretty remarkable. But I would argue C.J. Stroud might be the most difficult to replace. Why? Because he was just so dang accurate and he was so comfortable within the system. Now, vying for the position right now, Devin Brown and Kyle McCord. Now, we've seen McCord probably has a little bit of an edge right here just because we've seen him on the field as a starting quarterback. We've seen him out there performing at a pretty high level, albeit against somewhat moderate competition, uh, to put it lightly. But I do think that you have a little bit younger offensive line and you do have that experienced and elite level receiver core to the outside. I think he's in a really good position, McCord is, to at least lock down the position just because he has so much experience relative to the guy he's going up against in Devin Brown. Because when you look at Devin Brown, while, yes, comes in as a blue chip recruit, a guy that everybody wanted, a guy that was, according to some publications, the number one overall prospect in the entire country in the 2022 class, he only played in two games and didn't attempt to pass. So we're operating with a little bit less information about what he could potentially do. But based on his pedigree coming through the recruiting process, the sky's the limit. I think it'll be McCord at this point, but it's to be determined at least into fall camp as to exactly what that pecking order is going to be. I would be surprised if any decision is made in the next three or four months before the season gets kicked off. But either way, massive shoes to fill for C.J. Stroud.